A potentially big boost to the tech industry here in the capital region. A source familiar with negotiations telling CBS 6 that Global Foundries has a tentative deal in place to make chips for Apple iPhones and iPads at its Fab 8 complex in Malta. Our Brandon Lewis is live in Malta tonight. Brandon, Global Foundries not commenting specifically on this deal. They did tell you, though, what a new customer like Apple would mean for business locally. Yeah, Dory, it certainly would be significant, as would be any new customer acquisition. Malta represents the U.S. arm for the company here, so it says that this would be very significant for its U.S. operation. Now, the company right now, as you said, not discussing any of these plans, but with it considering building a second fab, news like this certainly doesn't hurt. On the same day, Global Foundries welcomed its neighbors, sources close to negotiations, tell CBS 6 the multinational company also welcomed a new customer. Chips for Apple's iPhone and iPad will be developed here in its new technology development center currently under construction, though Global Foundries wouldn't confirm the report. Not being a retail brand, we really don't talk about who our customers are, what those relationships are. So we're excited that we continue to build and ramp the facility, but we really don't get into particulars about customers. For the last six months, analysts speculated Apple would turn to Global Foundries to increase its chip making capacity. The source indicates Samsung, which works with Apple on chips, will help set up manufacturing here. Global Foundry spent much of the year getting approvals for a new 8.2 fab from Malta and Stillwater, but it's not clear if the Apple deal will require it. I haven't made a decision to move forward with it yet, but clearing those uh, hurdles to, you know, potentially uh, be able to build a site or a fab here on the site in the future is important. What would the significance be of getting a customer like Apple or any additional customers here on the Malta area? Yeah, um, the New York asset uh, is, is the U.S. Uh, um, um, location for our global company. And being the newest advanced manufacturing fab, uh, we're going through the process of ramping it as we speak. So any customers that we get here in Malta, are, there's an additional customer and it helps us fully uh, ramp and utilize our facilities. Now, tonight, we also reached out to Malta's town supervisor. He says any deal would be great for Malta and the Saratoga County area, but because this has been rumored for many months, he's going to hold off publicly celebrating until the deal is publicly announced. Now, tonight, we did also reach out to Apple and Samsung. Both did not return our phone calls or emails. Reporting live in Malta, Brandon Lewis, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Brandon. Since opening up in 2009, Global Foundries has created about 2,000 jobs in the capital region. Its new Fab 8 complex, a $2 billion investment, will bring an additional 1,000 jobs. The complex is expected to be finished late next year.